In Embedded Software, we have been using C and C++ for a really, really long time. And now we have the nuclear on the block called Rust that is promising to be memory safe. So what? Does it mean that we are not going to have runtime errors again? Unfortunately not. Rust can have undefined behaviors in the program. And this is well explained in the Rust documentation. However, let's keep that aside and let's talk about memory corruption. So for example, out of bound array access, that can actually happen in Rust. So you can actually corrupt memory this way as demonstrated by this code. So what's the difference with C and C++? Well, you see in C and C++, this is undefined behavior. So when you do something like this, uh, the standard doesn't say what's going to happen next. Maybe nothing, maybe that it's going to crash, maybe that it's going to corrupt memory, and then after that have a problem down the road. Actually, it can also lead to a cybersecurity hazard because then maybe that you're going to be leaking secrets. You're not going to be leaking any secrets in Rust. So in that sense, it's safer. However, it's going to call for the panic macro and that is going to cause the crash of the program. Obviously, that's not a desirable outcome. Now, the good news is that formal methods that can be used to highlight where these runtime errors are in the code can also be used in Rust. It's exactly on the same principles. They will not have any false negatives. It doesn't require you to become a math major in order to write code. So the same techniques that I introduced earlier on uh, can be applied here. Oh, by the way, and come closer. If you happen to be in Germany next week, like the second week of March at Embedded World, maybe you should swing by our booth 4-340. There will be a nice Rust surprise there, but don't tell anybody that I told you that.